Hey guys, it's Kerry. I'm looking at African animals today. African elephant? They can lift heavy objects, carry large loads and move quickly despite their size. Their strength is essential to their survival in the wild, allowing them to find food and water, build shelter and protect themselves from predators in the forest, savannas and grasslands of Africa. While elephants are incredibly strong, they are also very gentle creatures. Lion, they are highly territorial and occupy the same area for generations. Females actively defend their territories against other females, while resident males protect prides from rival coalitions. Territory size depends on prey abundance as well as access to water and denning sites. When a lion hears another group of lions approaching, they are able to determine the number of individuals in the roaring group and will challenge the invaders if they safely outnumber them. Okapi is the only living relative of the giraffe. Like a giraffe, they have very large upright ears which catch even slight sounds. An okapi also has a long dark prehensile tongue like a giraffe's to help it strip the buds and young leaves from the understory brush of its rainforest home. Their tongue is an important grooming tool helping to keep the velvety soft short coat in tip-top shape. Zebra they have powerful hindquarters that can deliver a kick with force strong enough to break a crocodile's jaw. Zebras can run up to 65 kilometers per hour. They combine this fast running with excellent stamina as well as being able to run in zigzagging motions to evade predators that are chasing them. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Gorilla, their estimated strength is around six times the maximum of a human. They've got a bite pressure of around 1,300 psi, stronger than either a lion or a great white shark. They have an arm span of up to 2.6 meters. Their center of gravity is lower than humans, which makes them a more stable fighter. Hippo, there are two species found in Africa. This is the common hippo. It's found in East Africa, south of the Sahara. The other much smaller species is the pygmy hippo, which is restricted to ranges in West Africa. When fighting, bulls use their incisors to block each other's attacks and their large canines as offensive weapons. The most common hippo vocalization is the wheeze honk, which can travel over long distances in the air. African cheetah. Male cheetahs team up with their brothers or other males to form coalitions, groups that defend a shared territory and team up to take down large prey. Females are solitary, while males live together. A female usually raises her cubs alone, hiding them in dens by day and teaching them her hunting skills as they grow. The name cheetah comes from a Hindi word cheetah, C-H-I-T-A, meaning spotted one. Red fox? There are many foxes in Africa. The only true native one 
is the Cape Fox. It is a silver-backed fox, much like the Fennec Fox with the large ears. Cape Foxes live in South Africa and are nocturnal. Mandrill. They live in groups, mostly in a harem structure, where a dominant male defends a group of females to whom he has exclusive mating rights. Dominant or alpha male mandrills have the most mating success. Upon gaining alpha status, males develop larger testicles, redder faces and posteriors, more secretion from the chest glands and fatter sides and rumps. Canine lens also correlates with dominance and males are less likely to sire offspring when their canines are under 30 millimetres. Male mandrels prefer to establish dominance with vocalisations and facial expressions since fighting is dangerous due to the long canines. Receptive females have sexual swellings on their posterior and the red facial coloration can communicate age and fertility. Males also appear to detect a female's reproductive state using the vomeronasal organ. This is by smelling her genital area. Population lasts no more than 60 seconds. Green Mamba Because they are highly venomous, Green Mambas have few predators other than birds of prey. Secretary Bird Standing over 1.2 metres tall, these elegant birds cruise through grasses on long legs while looking for something to eat. Spoon Bill lives in shallow inland waters such as marshes, lakes and reservoirs throughout much of sub-Saharan Africa. It fishes for food by swinging its open bill from side to side in the water. African Civet When threatened, it raises its dorsal crest to make itself look larger and more formidable and dangerous to the attacker. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.